one of the most powerful wrestlers on the South African circuit, Exterminator showed tremendous improvement in 2009. His feud with Ryan Cage was one of the highlights of the year and he showed he is capable of bigger things. Despite being semi-active, Exterminator displayed a great deal of untapped potential that promotions have yet to capitalize on. The maniacal Two-Face was trained by Anunzi in 2008 and has since grown more proficient in the ring, becoming one of the top heels in the APWA. A facial transformation mid-year saw his character taken to new heights. 2010 could be the year of Two-Face. In less than two years Johnny Iceman Saban has cemented his place as one of the more cocky and innovative individuals in recent South African wrestling history. Even though he lost title challenges against trainer and All-Africa champion Anunzi, his reputation in the ring grew with each match in their three-match series. His big battle royale win in December gave him an official place on the WWP roster. Warlock remains one of the most underappreciated and underrated wrestlers in South Africa. After feuding with Vinny Vegas for over a year, it came to a head mid-year as they battled in a medieval torture chain match, one of the best matches of the year. Warlock spent most of his time in tag team action and he is set to revive XW in 2010. The Pink Punisher Akila was once again the top women's wrestler in the country and arguably the continent. Despite losing the WWP World Ladies title early in the year to score, she regained it later on. Akila is married in real life to Tornado. El Matador was on a quest to capture the lightweight title from Nick Fury for the majority of the year and the two, along with Revive, produced some of the finest wrestling matches seen in South Africa in recent memory. Matador is one of the most crisp wrestlers in the country. Monster Heel was the AWA All-Africa Heavyweight Champion for much of the year until losing it to arch-enemy Sean Cohn in December. A premier heavyweight, Link continued his dominance in the hardcore style and dumped former manager Kuz Russo, in what may herald a baby face turn in future. Nightmare's monstrous image and character were one of the more unique aspects seen in SA Wrestling during the year. Despite still being a rookie, Nightmare got key wins over WWP World Heavyweight Champion Tornado and showed great presence in the ring. The big man prevailed through difficulties in real life and accomplished his dream. Nick Fury skyrocketed in talent and credibility by being a diamond in the already strong AWA lightweight division and becoming the very first lightweight champion in AWA history. Fury's improvement over the last year showed that he has tremendous heart and desire. By being the center of the lightweight division, he carried it to a powerful start and matched up well with any opponent he faced due to his ability to adapt. Nick Fury lost the gold in December but isn't expected to stray far from the contendership ladder. Plato Kid was voted WWP's Wrestler of the Year for his rate of growth and success achieved in 2009. The former WWP World Tag Team Champion is one of the most exciting wrestlers to watch in South Africa and is considered one of the most popular wrestlers as well. The Italian Stallion continued his supremacy over the crucial weight division with wins over former champion William McQueen with their final singles match of 2009 resulting in Palazzo winning the title. He went on to form AWA's first bona fide hill stable in Fibar Revolution, aligning with Nick Fury and several up-and-coming stars. His latest feud against Vinny Vegas is leading to a ladder match between the two for the gold in the near future. The French connection of Terry and Zizou Midi was by far the best tag team in the country all year and possibly the best combination in many many years. The father and son team became the newly crowned WWP World Tag Team Champions in September and no team in South Africa has come close to matching them in terms of specializing in the tag team concept.
Sean Cohn continues to defy expectations as the years go by and is quite possibly the most impressive super heavyweight wrestler South Africa has ever had. A living legend in his own right, Cohn ended missing Link several month reign with the AWA All-Africa Heavyweight title, beating him in one of their wildest hardcore matches in December. One of the most popular wrestlers in South African wrestling history, Sean Cohn has been the promoter of AWA since its inception in 1995. You have been as good or popular enough as Sean Cohn to be able to hold the championship he currently has. Ryan Cage underwent a major transformation in 2009 before competing on WWP's TV show nationally broadcast in India, 100%. The strongman endured punishment from major rival Exterminator in a feud that lasted over six months, before taking him out in an I Quit match. His latest rivalry with trainer Anunzi over the gold was billed as the biggest match in the history of the Anunzi Pro Wrestling Academy due to the two men being best friends and their similarities in size. Cage was the Rookie of the Year in South Africa. Flying Sensation Revive took the lightweight division by storm in 2009 with his loose wrist-taking style. Crowds immediately took to him as he showed a willingness to put his body on the line in any situation. With a carefree attitude and rocker appeal, Revive was one of the most exciting wrestlers, chasing Nick Fury for the title all year before finally defeating him in December. After a breakout year in 2008, the rock star Vinny Vegas continued to shine in the spotlight and became the most valuable player in AWA in 2009. Mid-year he beat longtime nemesis Warlock in a memorable chain match that culminated over a year of bloodshed. One of the most popular wrestlers in Cape Town, he went on to challenge Johnny Palazzo for the Cruiserweight title. Vegas has proven himself to be a future main adventure. The biggest win of the year was becoming the 2009 Coca-Cola Royal Rumble champion. Jason Steele took his game up a notch in 2009 and became one of South Africa's most important and valuable wrestlers. His reign of destruction in WWP, particularly during the first run of 100% which airs on national TV in India, gave him the boost that he was waiting for and in the process he more than showed he was capable of running with the ball. Steele boasts one of the smarter minds in South African wrestling and may very well make it big somewhere in the years to come with his great ring ability and solid appearance. Anunzi was the hardest working and most consistently great performer of 2009. He made history in September after beating the Nigerian giant Kilimanjaro to capture his first single gold in many years, the WWP All-Africa Heavyweight title. Challenging the WWP World Heavyweight Champion Tornado unsuccessfully in a great match and fighting off newly signed WWE developmental wrestler Damian Duke in another showcase, Anunzi's ability to play a heel or a face and being able to adapt easily gives him a quality rarely seen. While running the Anunzi Pro Wrestling Academy at the same time as competing in WWP during their tours of Congo and India, Anunzi was highly versatile and always gave his all in the ring no matter where he fought, live or on television. He proudly represents his family of wrestling legends, Danny Britt and Danny Voges, who were two of the most famous wrestlers in the 70s, 80s and 90s. Over 40 years old and still arguably in his prime, Tornado was not only the best wrestler of the year technically in South Africa but the most highly acclaimed and accomplished. Tornado displayed so much ability and resilience for his age that no one else was worthy of being hailed as the number one wrestler in South Africa in 2009. A veteran of over 25 years experience, Tornado's incredible proficiency and knowledge of the squared circle harkens back to his early days training in Mexico, Japan and England under various guises. Tornado won the WWP World Heavyweight title in Congo for the second time in his career and dominated on the nationally broadcast TV show 100%. Tornado can very well be hailed as one of the greatest wrestlers in South African history.